Hello everyone again. Um, just going to carry on with it again. So it's going to be like a kind of continual bin shopping, let's call it. Um, I have bought a new tool, which I'm going to try out tonight. Very excited to use that. So let's get on with it. Spot welds on what's left of the uh, the lip for the bin here. A real bugger to get off. Real bugger. There's actually three lips. You probably can't see. Yeah, you can see the two there, and then you got the bin. So it's got a got a real nice uh, strong weld on there. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Never mind. We we'll keep chiseling at it and grinding and chiseling. Managed to get that lip off, got it all cleaned up, all nice. I'm just working on this bit at the minute at the bottom. I've tried the multi tool blade that I've got, it's sort of burning through. Um, Hacksaw did a good job, but I've run out of reach now, so I might borrow the air saw from work and um, carry this on tomorrow. Right, so I've actually had to stop and have some sleep since then, so it's the day after. And um, I'm quite pleased that I did have some sleep because I've come up with a bit of an idea, a bit of a plan, which I thought I'd share with you. And uh, it's a good job I did because I would have just carried on cutting last night and um, most of it would have been out, but I think this is a better plan. I'll show you what I'm, what I'm thinking. So I've got that far cutting down with the multi-tool. I mean, like I said before, I mean it was sort of burning through really, and then I hacksawed down most of most of the way. But the plan at the minute is to cut this, cut this down, level with this, level it off all the way around. Obviously, on that. No, all it's done is actually burn through the paint there. Um, and then carry this box section on up to the inner sill here. And then you've got a finished curve on it. And it it might look, it's not going to look factory, but it will look like it's always been there all wobbling around. Let's show you in here. Yeah, so I'll just carry this, this box section on straight up there. And then, it, and then it will look like it's been curved around there. I mean, it's going to be quite thin up that end, but I reckon it'll look all right. And, uh, yeah, so I'll do a bit more cutting. I've got the air saw now, so I can cut a bit easier. So I've been reduced to um, manual slashing. Now, because of the angle dangle in here, it's very tight, and I want to get it as close as I can to the... Uh, Cut line. So I can hear you shouting at the camera as well, why is he not cutting that way? Because I haven't taken enough material off this end and it's making my blade bend like, well, yes. Hence why we're doing it like this. Getting there now. Gonna have to carry on with the little uh, junior hacksaw along the bottom there. It's just too tight to get anything else in on it. I'm waiting for some little cutters uh, for my new die grinder, which will be absolutely perfect for this job, but it'll probably be done by the time they turn up. But uh, we're getting quite close to the um, need to add it online, so I don't want to go too close. I'd rather grind a bit down. I'll keep butchering, I won't bother filming whilst I'm butchering because it's, it will be fairly boring watching. Got a bit too close to the old uh, 
adding on line. So I bailed out right on that corner. I'm absolutely on it. So, whoops, there we are. Uh, yeah, it's looking good. I get the old disc out now. Got it nice and flat there. Just checked it with the old steel rule. It looks real good. There we are. So. Try flapping the camera around everywhere. Um, I think I'm going to have to take it down and snatch more because I haven't allowed for thickness on the on the top of the steel to cap it off so it will have to come down below the adding on line so that's me done for tonight just gone nine so don't want to uh, piss the neighbours off too much do we and that's what it looks like from this side I've looked at some uh, pictures online of the seat base and the seat base literally finishes well where the seat base is here where that's where that nice black line is and the top of the seat finishes where that flange is so you'll have that much protruding out from the seat I can't really see being a problem I think if I reduce it much more I'm going to run into problems down here and it's going to look a bit odd because I don't really want to be extending this straight forwards this strengthener because it's going to line up right where you don't want it to be right where the cage mount is I don't really want to box that in so yeah I think we just have to go with it how it is. Worst case, if I get my seat base out, if I get it in there, see what it looks like. If I have to reduce that curve or, or curb, tighten that curve up, then it falls more at an angle like that. So it's curved most of the way down. That's sort of last resort really, but I don't wanna don't wanna reduce this main bit here back any further. Right, so that's uh, me all done. I'm gonna go and do a bit of editing and have a shower, or shower then edit. I'll see you next time.